Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven, and today we're gonna play some monsters with Manti XD. How's it going, Manti? What up? How's it going, bro? Thank you for having me, dude. I'm so excited. Dude. <laughs> this looks like an awesome, uh, awesome deck. Yeah, uh, we were going over it before we thing. I didn't know they changed these guys' as names and stuff. So it's uh, it's pretty standard, but I don't see a lot of people playing gr Grave Hag, so. You might be able to get by with it. Um, and it doesn't die to Eskul, too, if you use it with marching orders, right? Correct. So yeah. it's actually, like, a surprising factor, you know? Like, uh, sometimes, like, people, like, just give away on cards, and the surprising factor is has more impact than the game. Yeah. And like you said, too, there's a lot of things they want to lock here. There's Vrans, there's Ekimaras, there's Neckers. There's a lot of things they want to keep from going off your succubus so if they burn all their locks on this stuff you might still be able to finish them off in the end with Morn Tart, which doesn't sound as cool as grave hag but we'll go with it indeed but like you know it's it's a kind of deck that uh you know you force your enemy to play damage control so you're just trying to lock and tar and try to block as much things as you can, but eventually it's just gonna get out of hand. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's play it in some games, see how it goes. We named it Butterface because Gravehag's pretty hideous. What are you talking about? She's the hottie <laughs> of the deck. <laughs> All right, let's see what we come up with here. Like, I, I don't understand, like, like, look. Please put it on chat. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? I just think that Gravehag is the hearty of the deck. Yeah, they're like, like oh, just... damn, look at her. That ass, though. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, the, ch the, the comments on YouTube can get, like, out of hand super quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going up against Mulligan. And the, like you said, this is where the... This is the hardest part of the list, so we want to drop Harpies first. Uh-huh. Try and get a Varan. Two Necker... Two Ekimaras might be too greedy, you think? I think, yeah... Let me see, we have already the Marching Orders. I think we can take away the Ekimara. There's the Varan. Okay, there it is. What ha what was that sound? The, uh, were you shaving on the making of the video? What happened, bro? No, I think was, we're good here. That's my laundry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it happens. All right, so we do... Um, Woodland Spirit, uh, huh? Right off the bat. I'm actually not sure if we do Woodland Spirit off the bat. I think, I think we... Huh. It's a crazy-ass tempo play. Actually, you you're right. You're right. Let's let's go with it. Dude, Woodland Spirit is one of those cards that I need to craft in premium. Dude, it looks amazing on premium. Yeah, it just like kind of shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, and I like the the sound, the scream. So he's got to play something that's gonna be what? He's just gonna clear. We just pass, don't we? He's going two Dude. cards down. Dude, uh, let me see. Uh, you know what? He's going two cards down. Yeah. Let him. Yeah, it was kind of slow. Granted, he gets a couple ticks out of his Dragoon, but it's like... Like you... I, I, watching, like, you and... Went to town and tragic play, you know. When somebody pulls like some really slow stuff, man, it's like you're you're asking for trouble when you keep playing it. I would just... like to point out that he used the lock. Yeah, he used the lock. <laughs> so this is this is actually pretty good. Yeah, he might be in big trouble. So this round, you would think he would try to bleed us super bad, but all right, we got a necker. And a brand. We throw we throw away the non premium. The premium stays, dude. Yeah, I'm a sucker for premiums. The butt scratcher. The butt scratcher. He does it here in a second, hold on. He's like butt scratcher? <laughs> oh, we got punished. We can mulligan it next round though. 
Yeah, he did use the lock. We could probably... He's just going to open pass. Do we just so, play the harpy? Just to get no, rid I think of we, we, I think we play the Kimara, right? He stays it regardless. Like, he might not have consumption, but... It stays no matter what? You don't have to consume something? Yeah. It says, uh, deploy, get resilience, and consume an ally. Yeah, I guess that works. And we're still a card up, so Grave Hag doesn't die. It's not going to be very big. If we get something like Regis... Oh, my goodness. God guess... dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Probably just... Do we throw the Necker? I, no, I think we throw the Harpy. It's just the Harpy is just so bad. If we get like the Necker, we're always gonna get big, right? So why don't we put some eggs on the on the floor? Yeah. Let the eggs hit the floor. We do have clear skies, so he's more than likely running the uh, Ragnarug and Drought and stuff. You would think. Yeah. Now I will I will start putting the you know the brand make him make him work. Boom. Headshot. Maybe next play the Necker. Yeah, and, and just start like uh, and get the Necker more. Warrior. Yeah. And then the the next one is so it's a, it's a world refined machine. No, no. Here's the thing. Actually, no. Yeah, and then after that we gotta do weather, right? I will lacerate that as a matter of fact, dude. Right away. With the uh, Abaya? Oh, yeah. I think he's gonna buff it, huh? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because, uh... Realistically speaking, it's... It's hard for, uh... Scoyatel to put, like, the numbers if you control their board. No mercy! So here comes... Do we think that's... Oh, it pops on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're safe, dude. I, I think it is. I think it is. Just saying. Yeah, play it here, huh? Yeah, dude. If it was me, I would be so sad at this point. I'd be like, no. Please, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, one point. But I think that that would be a rage moment, dude. Yeah, one point more in on a. That's that's actually kind of like tech against the meta. I mean, everybody's playing more in right now. Yeah. In so the that's. Arms of the angel. So we just copy, <laughs> copy now, right? Yeah, we copy it now. And if he lock, well, he does. He probably doesn't have another lock, but probably get the weather ticking next. Yeah, that, that was the plan, because, like, the machine now is, is going on its own. Now, the weather can get some more effect. We know that the weather is going to get so much value middle, so... So here's probably where he pulls... Ragnarug or something like that. I just realized our Grave Hag is not going to get that strong, but, you know, if... It, fair is fair, you know? Yeah. We put the 6 in front of the 21. No, 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 the, 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 the weather. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, maybe... Oh, yeah, but because of the fog, the fog gets extra points. Peace with humans. Do I try to steal that now? He doesn't have a, what's it called? An answer for it. He might move it, right? That's true. But here's the thing, he's gonna get one, two, three, four. F hey! We're here for the show, man. Go for it, why not? Just make sure you put it behind the brand, otherwise. <laughs> yeah, we're toast there, huh? Such a shame. Kill you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So this is this is actually like looking really nice, and I didn't I didn't think about this, but like we might end up with a seven instead of uh, that because of the fog. Yeah. 
Sometimes I derp, dude. Like, I'm telling <laughs> you, this was this on me, dude. Like, it's... Have, have you seen the meme with the guy with the bicycle and then he trips himself over? Oh, that yeah, is yeah, me, yeah. dude. That is me all the time. So now we start the Varan, you think? Oh, it buffed itself up again. Oh, but it's going to drop down. Well, a 9 is not bad to keep. Um, I think we in the Necker right away with the 6. Just so we can start getting more. That's a pretty big swing. Ryan! Too fast, viewed one. Oh wow. No, that's a pretty big swing. This is a better one though. Play the other necker. Behind no, it. I I think we consume something from the grave the grave actually no, I think we, maybe we would put the eggs because this way that we will get more value. No let's on the range. Because we still have like two more neckers in the grave on the deck, right? So the melee shoe will be fine. Coexistence. No oh wow. So he's definitely got marigolds. Okay, so we gotta start separating our Our strength. But still, that's a lot of strength that he has to go through. Yeah. Um, well, maybe we can do the five. Yeah. And we'll put it in... Actually, yeah, that's fine. Eat the nine, huh? Yeah, I think that that's going to be the biggest one. I bet he regrets using uh, Siren. Yeah, because we're going to get an extra tick on this Necker. We still got one more, two more in the graveyard. I was hoping you'd say Do we just... Oh. I think we, we play the Necker. Yeah, our strength is pretty... Dispersed pretty well. I don't think it's going to be... Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Dude, it happens to me all the time. Like, you know, everything's quiet. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm going to record a video. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you and know, chainsaws you know? outside cutting down your trees and stuff. Exactly. Like, it's like, wow. It's, it's oh, seventy yeah. power, seventy strength. I don't know if that's gonna be. Oh no, he should have made that a while ago. And the order that he's doing it. Oh, yes. I don't think he. Yeah, it's going to eat it, right? Yeah. All right, so now that's Miracles, right? So then we play it all the way in the back. Uh, Great. Uh, is actually very weak now. Feels bad, man. Yeah, we. that's the only bad thing about playing it with... Uh, we get an extra consume out of it. Other one Siege, maybe. Not that he's gonna use it, but still, that that miracles is gonna like have a massive swing, dude. Yeah, if we had one more tick on the thing, we would have had him. Is it a tie? No, I I. I like the way you. Because weather kicks, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Weather, weather calculated, dude. Holy cow. Do you think they need to put a cap on marigolds? Of some kind? But then it I just kind of comes... It becomes D-bomb. I, I, well, I believe, I believe that if you're going to cap your cards, I think that you should follow your own rules kind of thing, you know? Because what happens is things like this get out of hand. Once again, a silver a silver gives you more value than like the total amount of four gold cards. Right. So it's kind of like it's kind of like silly in my perspective, and to a certain degree, it might be even unhealthy, you know. But uh, I would like to keep Marigold because because I like the effect. I just don't like that it's uncapped. 
yeah, it it uh, it makes it kind of hard since you know you have things like Northern Realms going buck wild, but their units, some of their the big the big units are locked to siege. So, all right. I think we'll throw away the uh, the butter face that you call. I still don't know why why you call it butterface. Look at that beauty <laughs> right there, dude. <laughs> um, we need. Oh, like a brand. Yeah. Get rid of the weather. Clear. Sure. Why not? Might pay for it. Oh. Oh my God. Double marker. And it, it wasn't even the butt scratcher. Yeah. We could just we could just do woodland spirit again and pass. Yes. No, what what if okay. Okay. Yeah, all right, let's go for it. It's just so good. It is, it is pretty good. Yes. I really like this setup. It would hit that one too. We just pass now, huh? That thing's gonna nuke the hell out of us. Or we could lock yeah. it, I guess. Well, let me see. If he has ox, though, that kind of sucks. He'll lock our if, neck. Well, here's the, th here's the thing, right? So if we pass, he wins anyway, because that's gonna activate. Right. So it's not like he's gonna go too down. Uh, I think I think we lock it, because there's no, no, no something that is necessarily a danger here. I actually, I actually believe that even without the brand, we have a really good uh, chance of overcoming him. Yeah, it's one strength out of out of the way of Karen eating it, which kind of sucks. He's gonna reveal anyways. Wow, he must have only had one. Yeah. That's why I like the. The fire scorpion's better. They at least get something out of it. Poor Geralt. That's his only job anymore now is the buff spotters. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what do you do for a living? I, I buff spotters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, what happened to the to the monster hunting? Yeah, it's, it's, this is better. Yeah. I'm I'm retired. I, I would play the I no, I would play the what's it called? Uh the five? Just, just so I can put an egg, and we can thread. Because what happens is like we put it right here, right? And then if we play a spy and he passes, we can eat it and get some carryover. <laughs> What's your job? I buff spotters. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why this guy's in the deck is to to turn a uh, spotter into a. What are they, three strengths? So he's, they're 16s now? He cleared the weather. Wow. What if we weather again? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I think we, we should be fine, right? He had another one. Wow. Okay. What? What if we? What if we spy? I think we one, have two. to now. It's a pretty big gap. That's a pretty gap, right? Uh, let me see. We haven't consumed a single thing. These poor neckers. Not getting a Varan in your opening hand just sucks. Do you think that this should be a good point to a good moment to use? Uh... Ekimara. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, maybe we, we, if we're gonna pass, let's just carry over some. We the neck. Yeah, that was decent. Man. 
I see I see our grave uh, I see our graveyard and I feel so bad for writing uh <laughs> grave <hag. laughs> Yeah, it's I think it, I think the grave hag like you said, I, I think we need to have the behemoths in there if you're gonna play it. Men are best kept on a short lead. Oh we lose one. Okay. Okay, so we play that's 12 plus 4, 16. What can we do that? Nothing, right? No, we can that wouldn't pass. I guess we pass now. We just pass outright. Yeah, we have we have six car six string of carryover. Yeah, we got an egg too, and uh, oh, both harpies popped. So I think we can put the uh, necker away. Yeah, we should be okay. Still no Vran. What about... So, we should be able... Oh, there it is, there it is, finally. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna play this. Uh, Varu? Really? He is gonna play that. Alright, let's time to eat a spotter. I think we, it's safe to eat a spotter with a... Uh... Regis? Yeah. He's got a golem too. Yeah, well, I think this border is just very decent to eat. Okay. If he passes, we that's when we drop um... Necker, or do we drop the harpy? I think we drop the Necker. It's gonna be hard for us to overcome this. What are you talking about, man? We got Grave Hag for a. <laughs> for like eight. <laughs> for a ten. Yeah. I think we throw this by away, right? Let's see. Yeah, it's too greedy. I don't think we can hang. Hopefully, we get another Vran. Or Succubus or something. Alright, cool. Alright, beautiful. So we put the egg on the, on the range. I wonder what he's gonna take. Because we saw that he had the Kvaros, right? Yeah. Usually don't they have... don't have too many of them, though. He'll probably take our Foglet. Man, yeah, we don't have any. Oh, the Shame Golem in hand. Look out. Nice, dude. What? Ah, oh, that's it. We're surrender four feet. Yeah, we, we still got. Sure. Oh no, we don't have one Necker in hand. I thought we'd, he he swears the other one away. No, he swears the other one. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if Karen's gonna be able to eat anything. Everything's gonna be huge. If anything, it's gonna be that golem, dude. Ouch. Okay, now we just consume. I think we consume with a, yeah. Here, or eat the. I think we will eat the egg, cause we have uh, eggs for days, eggs for breakfast, you know, <laughs> dinner, midday is just awesome. Double ox. Ouch. Well, now we have something to consume with. Uh... Karen. Karen, yeah, I will eat it. Let's go. Probably play it back here, huh? Rot tosser might be a thing. <laughs> I'll be sad if the rot tosser gets like uh, that value. It's gonna be See, close. and you hear in my background, my bird just woke up. It's a, it's a mess, dude. Like everything yeah. is quiet. It looks nice, you know. I'm like, I'm going to record some videos and noises just come out of nowhere. Right. Uh, we can. I think we play the egg. There is no. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close. Definitely, dude. What are we gonna eat here? I think the seven is the biggest. Hey, sweeters. Yes, yeah, sweeters. 
They should change this thing to I hate spotters. <laughs> <laughs> I hate spotters. You think he has marigolds? I mean, at is this there anything point, in we our... don't have an option. Is there anything in our stuff that... No. No, I think it's eight is the biggest one. Yep. So he doesn't have another spotter because we ate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tibor? Ooh, Gerald. He's definitely got marigolds. Oh, boy. All right, so then we got to play that on the front or on the back. Grave hag. Is it enough? It's not enough. Lacerate? It's enough! I think it's, I think it's going to be, yeah, dude. <laughs> Man, he actually, easy, dude. because he killed our stuff, he made the grave hag more powerful. Yeah, dude. I'm telling he you. Actually, uh... He actually threw the game by <laughs> lacerating that, that row. I'm telling you, and, you, and I was saying, why did we add it here? Calculate it, dude. Calculate it. <laughs> yeah, we probably should switch that out for something else, but... Uh... I, I don't know it, what you're talking about. After it, that match, she earned her position on the, on the deck. She, That's it, dude. Yep. Butterface Mainstream, came through. Dude. Yep. Took took it to the took it to the house for us. But um, yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna send it over to Manny and let him know where you can find him and the uh, idealist guys and everything else. Well, pretty much the idealist guys. You guys know. Uh, just type idea ideal uh, when idealist on uh, Twitter for one city. You guys know where to find me, boys. And uh, sorry about the back background noises. I swear that this happens all the time. Yeah. So <laughs> we, you know, we're just trying to share our passion for one. Mine was just a big beep, so I'll just say someone was swearing in the background. Oh, uh, dude, yeah. and, and I have my bird in the background. Like that's it. I'm naming him Camby, dude. He's like, play Camby, <laughs> play Camby. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, Pride is in the uh, qualifier for Gwent Slam, correct? I believe so. I believe so. Like, uh, don't quote me because I've been like out of touch a lot. You know, the Hurricane Irma and such. But yeah, I, like Pride is a very good player. I have, I have faith, dude. I have faith. I have hope. Yeah, he'll he'll be good. We might. No, not yet. I was gonna say we might have been able to hit rank 17 but uh yeah that's the video for today guys like always thank you thank you and we'll see you guys next time